Thursday, August 25th, and we are going to explore our neighborhood a little bit. We're going to the dollar store so that we can get some pool toys. We're walking because we don't have a car. And for those of you who are saying, what do you mean you don't have a car? Well, we had to get rid of our car to move here because our car wasn't gonna make it. So we're just waiting on Jared's 401k to come in and we'll take care of it from there. In the meantime, we walk. Fry Road, which is what we live off of. A lot of new building going on here, as you can see across the street. And over on this side too, on both sides of the road. So this is kind of like an up and coming area here in Chandler. Really exciting, but I'm gonna show you as we walk what our view is. Yeah, Chick-fil-A. Are you hot? <laughs> All right, let's pick up and some noodles. I am in my happy place. Chick-fil-A. I'm in. Chick-fil-A. Okay, so we just got back from our walk and weird, weird things happening. Um, I am really, really hot. I'm sweating. Look at my hands, how swollen they are. Ugh, look at that. It looks like I hit somebody. Look at that. Can you see the puffs? I'll show you my other hand, too. It's really bad, too. Look at that. Look at how swollen my hands are. Um, and that's because it is really humid here. Um, but on the way home, the weirdest thing happened. We turned going east, and so the sun was behind us. And as we were walking past this empty field, we would get bouts of just, I don't even know what you would call them, like you would just hit like an air pocket of humidity, like super, super bad humidity. Then you would walk out of it and you could feel that you were no longer in it because it was so cool, like cold. You'd feel that cold breeze. 
Um, and maybe it wasn't even a cold breeze. Maybe it was just the normal temperature and it felt good because you were getting out of that humidity pocket. But there had to have been a humidity pocket like every 15 steps that you would take. So I am right now just trying to recuperate. I had a hard time breathing because the humidity pockets were so bad. Like you would just like instantly like look at me. I am just sopping to the core because of these weird little humidity pockets. And then you would walk away and you'd just be in regular air, but it felt so good. Like it felt like a cool breeze and you know, it's not cause it's like a hundred degrees here, but it was crazy. And it really like messed with my hands. Like they're even red and puffy. It looks like I hit somebody and my hands all swollen. So that weird, just weird stuff like that. But I know that this is going to soon be the end of the humidity period here. And eventually I will start feeling good again and, um, or good. Cause I haven't really felt good since we've been here because of the humidity. It's been so high here. Um, for them, like it's been like 45 to 50% humidity, which I know people in Wisconsin are going whoop de doo And I remember my dad saying that and I was like, oh, woo. But um, it's really rough in the heat here. Like when it's 100 degrees and you have that 45% humidity, that's really, really rough. And it's really hard on someone like me with my neuropathy problems. I can't even feel my toes right now because I had to wear regular tennis shoes um, to walk that, that far. But um, yeah, it was quite an interesting experience to go through those, those uh, humidity pockets. They're really strange. So I just thought I would let you know about that since I'm telling you all about what life here in Arizona is like coming from Wisconsin. I hope you enjoy. If so, give me some love by clicking the heart or give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Instagram, Tristine Fleming, and follow all of my IGTV shows. Yeah, those. I'm... Bye.